All right, so I've got a question for you. Would you rather have no arms or no legs? See, without any arms, you lose one of the most overpowered abilities in nature, opposable thumbs. All right, so what about legs? If you lose your legs, you lose your, the strongest part of your body, a lot of mobility, and you kind of look like this guy. So they both sound kind of bad, but most people in this situation would begrudgingly choose to lose their legs because it's just a little easier to live without. You're like rolled around in a wheelchair and you collect your disability, you know, you can kind of do stuff. But if you had the option to pick neither, you would have picked neither. Because in this hypothetical, yeah, there's no neither. Y you pick one or the other, buddy. This little predicament comes up when you do or don't have a job. See, when you don't have a job, you gotta stretch your money out like a little twink you just met on Grinder. But when you do have a job, well, you don't have time to do anything. You're barely scraping by, and you're treated like shit by everyone. So, it's a lose-lose situation, really. But Kelly, your job's really important for getting money in and out of the economy! Wait, 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 wait. He's right. Going to work is amazing for keeping you alive, but your job can take all of your free time, giving you nothing to do other than live or work. You got all this money, and all you can do is work? It's kind of freaky, if you ask me. And let's not forget the disrespect coming from every angle, whether it be from shitty managers, coworkers, or even customers. Some people can just be so draining to be around. Like, I would rather be in a prison shower, just drop the soap, with some big dude behind me tell me to pick it up. All right. Let's just say, in this hypothetical, you've got really cool managers and your coworkers don't suck to be around. All right, what about the job itself? Fast food sucks if you aren't making food and you're on the risk of getting burned if you're doing that. You get really gross and dirty. Or when you're not making food, you got some mundane ass tasks that you gotta repeat all your shift and you're not allowed to listen to music or anything. Retail sucks too, but at least it's not fast food. You aren't doing a bunch of gross stuff to get you dirty, but it's just really bad really really boring especially when managers don't let you talk to anyone you're kind of cool with when you have any downtime at all heavy emphasis on downtime some of you niggas yap and yap while we got 50 other boxes to do shut the fuck up so we can get this shit done bruh well working sounds like it sucks why would i want to do that now hold on unemployment sucks just as bad Remember that thing I said in the beginning about the twink? Yeah, you gotta stretch your money across weeks or even months sometimes with how annoying it is to get a job. Oh yeah, the other thing, getting a job. Why is that shit so hard for no reason? Why doesn't anyone wanna hire my ass? Especially you, Walmart. I'm picking shit up and telling people where it is. What experience or higher education could I possibly need for that? Stop denying my applications when your store has signs that say, no hiring all over the place. I'm sick of it. I hate trying to get a job. It's not even a matter of trying to find one jobs are everywhere jobs that require no experience and that are easy to do should not be hard to get into all right i got a little worked up there so maybe you're in no rush to find a job right now you need a mental break anyway all right you can use this infinite free time to do what you love maybe go out with some friends get a new hobby or just chill right Wrong! Yo bro guys can't do anything! You need money to go out, and in some cases, you need it to just chill. Like, what if you wanna buy a game on Steam or something? You're gonna cave eventually, and I know what you're thinking. I'll just get someone else to pay for me. Alright, bum-ass nigga, what if they don't? Then what? Exactly. You got all this time in the world, but you're basically locked behind a paywall in real life? Yeah, that's crazy. That could not be me. Also, I didn't mention this before, but this applies to mostly teenagers in high school. If you're a grown-ass man just chilling without a job or you don't plan to get one, you're cooked. Like, unless you have the luckiest break in the world. Bro, please watch the video. Please, I watched. I, I worked really hard on that video, bro. Please, just watch it, bro. Please. To recap, being employed sucks because you don't have enough time to do anything and you're treated like garbage in a place you don't even want to be. Being unemployed sucks because while you can do what you want in theory, well, you can't really afford to. So, what do you do in this situation? Well, what I would do is just get a job. How would you climb He probably just said, well, there really isn't a good choice in this, and you just have to pick one that you hate a little less. Having a job's gonna suck, and not having a job's gonna suck, no matter what. We all just kinda gotta settle until we get to where we wanna be, and that's just the unfortunate reality. Well, I'd love to just pick the third option of being a YouTuber and not looking at a bunch of rejection text from a robot. That's just not a choice I can make yet. But, on the bright side, at least I'm not alone. Literally everyone on earth is stuck in this predicament, so we can all take some solace in it, and that's kind of nice. So to all of you in or out of the workforce, your time is coming. Some of you have to work a little harder than others, but if you lock in, you'll be good. Trust. Thank you all so much for watching this video to the end, and I really appreciate it so much. Thank you all for the support. And if you want more content like this, and want to see me grow on my journey, subscribe. Alright, enough yapping y'all. Good night.